My name is Mark Rosardo. I'm a clinical associate professor at the University of BC, taking clinical students in my practice. And my practice is located at Burnaby in Metrotown. I'm a owner and partner at Metrotown Orthopedic and Sports Physiotherapy and have been since 1988. I'm also the lead medical person for Badminton Canada and travel with them to international events and a medical committee member with the Canadian Soccer Association. I started off to be a teacher, so I went to UBC as an undergrad in phys ed, and uh, once I got out of that, I wasn't really keen on doing it, and I applied to do a master's degree in growth development in, in phys ed, and I did that. At the same time, I was lucky enough to get a fellowship uh, with the Coaching Association of Canada to become an apprentice national coach, soccer coach. And so I did that simultaneously at the University of BC. At the end of that uh, two-year program, I stayed with the national soccer team as their trainer until 1984 when I decided to go back to school and become a physiotherapist. Uh, for me, it's an easy transition from my interest as a kid. I played uh, tons of sports as a, as a youngster. And growing up, I just played uh, soccer from the age of five. And uh, when I became a player at UBC, I was uh, involved in a lot of sports, but mainly uh, as elite soccer player. And then I played and coached at the university. And I, even though I did, bec I was the therapist at UBC when I was playing there, I uh, found there was a huge amount of knowledge that I didn't have. And that's why I went back to school to become a physiotherapist. Well, I put in a lot of hours, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, and I tell all, anybody that's interested in sports physio that they've got to be prepared to, to put in a lot of hours and not get reimbursed for it. Um, so my uh, training started in my undergrad degree, and I, I know my first degree when I was the therapist for the soccer team as I played for them. I was asked by the Canadian Olympic Association in 2007, actually 2006, to apply to be the chief therapist for Canada at the Pan American Games in 2007 in Rio de Janeiro. So I did that and I applied, went through an interview, an interview process that the COC, the Canadian Olympic Association has set up and I was successful in, do, in being the candidate. Then uh, as a result of that, that shortlisted me to be the chief therapist for Canada at the 2010 Olympics. Again, I went through an interview process from the COC, and that was a two-game commitment. So that means that I was committed to doing not only the Vancouver Games, which is my home, as you said, but also the London Games in 2012. And so I knew that the commitment with the COC was going to be at least four years. And uh, I discussed it with my wife and family, and we decided that I could do it. And so that's what I did and uh, it definitely did not let me down. It was uh, definitely a lot of work by a lot of people around me. I had a staff of 45 to 50 therapists, uh, but uh, we pulled it off and it was a great time. So the Vancouver Olympic, the toughest part for me was picking my team. The, it's a long process. Uh, therapists and doctors apply from across the country, sometimes internationally. Uh, there could be Canadian therapists that are working out of the country. And so they apply and we have to go through a rigorous process uh, with the Canadian Olympic Association and the Chief Medical Officer, who at the time was Dr. Bob McCormick. And uh, we go through you know, what is going to make our team whole, so we can't have everybody have the same skill set and we have to make sure that everybody gets along. And so uh, our first meeting when we brought everybody together, it was actually in Vancouver. And uh, we had two sites. We had Vancouver and Whistler as the two sites. So we had pretty well two different home teams. We had uh, my assistant and the assistant chief medical officer up in Whistler and myself and Bob were stationed in Vancouver. And we worked really closely with the specific therapists for each sport that were bringing their own therapists. And uh, everybody, everybody bought into the uh, one team concept and everybody helped everybody else out. And uh, we had very few problems at the games themselves.
Uh, I think the best part was being uh, able to see the games take off in Vancouver with a lot of hesitation. That's my hometown, and um, it was fantastic. And for me as the chief therapist, um, I covered curling, and uh, we won a gold medal on the men's team and should have won a gold medal on the women's team. Um, and so I was there long hours. Um, but then I also was able to look at a lot of different events including the gold medal hockey game that Canada won and uh, you know that was just a, you're not going to replace that you're never going to forget that and so uh, many of us that still see each other at different games to this day uh, you know that was probably a highlight of our career being there but also the great rapport we all had at the games was well, probably a highlight. From the whole games, I treated the one of the assistant chef, the mission, a guy named Joe Juno. He's an ex NHL player. But by the end of the games, he was uh, you know doing much better. And the morning of the games, he phoned me and he said, "Mark, what are you doing today?" And I said, well, "At some point today, I think I'm going to uh, try and get in to see the game today." And he said, "Well, I really need a therapist with me at the games." And I went, "Well, what are you talking about, Joe?" And he's like, "I need you to meet me at 10 o'clock." and uh, we're gonna go to the game. So I looked at my schedule and it was uh, good to go. So I met with Joe and we went in and we were actually with the first guy sitting in the stadium and it was probably like uh, 11 o'clock or 10.30 and we got seats uh, upstairs in the VIP section that we were allowed to sit in and uh, I sat down with uh, five people. Uh, we were sitting between the blue line and center and we had a great view and uh, we had a great time. And the best part of that is that at the end of the game, we were elated and everybody's screaming. And then we quickly had to get out of there because we had to walk over to the uh, stadium for the closing ceremonies, which happened uh, shortly after that.